Holm and, and Dr. Verdon for being here today. Um, of course, effective transition to the ground-based strategic deterrent will require a plan to safely and efficiently dismantle, dispose, and demilitarize the current ICBM fleet. And if you could, and I apologize for missing uh, the first part of this, but um, if you could, please walk us through what progress is actually being made and what challenges you are facing with the disposition planning for the Minuteman Three. Uh, so, uh, if so, we're not responsible for the missile. That would be the Air Force. But for the warheads that are on the missile, um, roughly half of them will transition off of the Minuteman Three onto the GBSD. The ones that won't transition, the material associated with those warheads will be, uh, when authorized, will be disassembled and uh, stored safely and securely, as we've done in the past, for with the with the material that composes those warheads. So you don't foresee any any issues then with no. that disposition. That's good. Um, and then also, what is the, um, of course, DOD, DOE, and NNSA, they all have a stake in the, in the development of the nuclear cores that are supporting our weapon systems and our nuclear navy. Uh, what is the assessment of the capability and ability of our domestic supply and production chains to produce these nuclear cores? By cores, are you, I'm so sorry for clarifying. By cores, you're referring to as the the pits uh, that we call the pits. Is that what you mean by the core or the whole or the whole weapon? The whole weapon. The whole weapon. So uh, it's uh, we are working very diligently to uh, to make sure we have a supply chain. Uh, I think we're working very closely with the department and the Department of uh, Defense in reestablishing more domestic supplies of some of the materials that we need. So we're recognizing that that's a key that's a key area that we have to work on. Uh, we're, but we are we are reestablishing, or we have established, and continue to work to make sure that we have the uh, correct infrastructure to support what we need to do. And Dr. Verdon, is there a, a role that you would see at the federal government level or with Congress in making sure that we can procure um, what's necessary domestically? I believe, you know, we don't have a definitive answer yet, but I believe there will be some materials for which the economic, you know, trying to get industry to restart some of the, uh, you know, domestically will be a challenge that we may need help in the future. There are certain materials we use that we have to rely on external sources for, that bringing them back on shore may present a challenge for the future that we certainly would be, would need, potentially need help in, in doing so. And what would some of those um, those concerns that we have with external sources, where would those sources be located? Uh, I'll say sensitive countries. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Senator Ernst. Uh, let me recognize Senator Kelly, please.